Hello everyone and welcome to today's hub. I decided to do the intro and outro in a place that we haven't really done it before and I don't think we've done it in here. This is the side stairwell. Super echoey in here. But yeah, super echoey. Anyway, it has been a fun week. It's been pretty busy, but let's go around and check and see what's going around the, the office this day, this week, whatever. We, we, we actually didn't do a hub last week, so this one is kind of two weeks of combined random crap, so it should be pretty fun. Go check it out. What a couple of weeks it's been. Squad goals. It really goals. makes me think about <laughs> what my favorite memory was of the past Wait, let's weeks. restart completely. That was all over the place. Let me think about what's going <laughs> What has happened in the last couple weeks, boys? Well, a lot I'm of stuff. I'm trying to think of my favorite memory. So the, the camping trip. Weeks. Now Jordan, say another random sentence. Last year in Berlin. Hashtag squad goals. Video highlights. What happened in Berlin last year? Was there any kind of like... And Berlin is one of my favorite musicians. Po political reformation or something like that? Ich bin nine Berliner. Ich bin ein Berliner. Ein Berliner. And Berlin. So we went camping last week. Here are some very fun highlights. Um, before we go to those very fun highlights, what was our favorite part of the camping trip, everybody? I like the lake. I like the fire. I liked getting stoked. Glorious mountains have come before us. That means we are almost in Estes Park. Oh yeah, there have been about eight compliments on Joe's hat. As someone bowed to him. Yeah, someone did. Um, there's been a, a, a few nice beards. Okay, let's push on. Oh yeah. 11,796 feet in the oh. air. What's that kid doing? He's Whoa. Kids what are you kid? Out of his sunroof. He's king of the of the parking lot. I like Fireball a lot. I hate Fireball. It's death. Well, let's just finish our drinks. We're gonna go out and give each other our shirt presents. Then we're wa we're gonna wander aimlessly downtown and find all the cool stuff with our shirts on. That's your that's your everyday hat. Everyday. <laughs> Safe, going to Safeway to get some bread. Hat. Going to the dispensary to buy a joint. Hat. Going to see my mom. Hat. Going to the dispensary with my mom. Hat. Ooh. The Fender Blender brought. Oh, ew. Wait, this is like on the, I thought that was like. Wait, it's on the hot dog? Hey, anybody. Shh. It's quiet hours now. Wait, look at my hot dog next to yours. Yeah, but what? Oh, this is so hard. So I found a game online that is a simple guessing game on if something is a Pokemon or a prescription drug. So what this thing is going to do is give us a name and we have to decide Pokemon or prescription drug. Now Pokemon sound a lot like prescription drugs and vice versa. Well, how do we you decide? Write P. P? In the world? Do they Pokemon or D? The, okay, so P or D. That's a, that's a pill. Vibrava? Pill? Yep. Going drug? Drug? Yeah, drug. I think that's wrong. By the way, that that Vibrava was third generation ground dragon. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Milotic. Milotic. That's, a Pokemon. that's a Pokemon. Pokemon. Third generation water Pokemon. Yeah, Hell yeah, okay. <laughs> Luxic. That wait, that sounds like a Pokemon, but I think that's it also a drug. Be a drug. That's a curveball. Yeah. It's a steroid. Oh, steroid. All right, De Decadron. That's a Pokemon. Yeah. That sounds like a measurement of distance. Decadron. You're right. Decadron. No, Pokemon. that's Decadron. I oh, it's a drug. It's a corticoid. Corticosteroid. Kvar? Uh, that's a Pokemon. Oh, it's come asthma. On. It's asthma. Marowak. That's a Marowak, Pokemon. Marowak, that's yeah, a Pokemon. Yeah, we know that's Pokemon. first gen right first there. First gen. That's first gen. I T know that one. Ticklid? <laughs> Ticklid? If that's a Pokemon, that's Man, a Pokemon. I'm going to shoot up on some Ticklid. Yeah. It's an antiplatelet. Glaceon, that sounds like a Pokemon. Oh, I'm going Pokemon, Pokemon no yeah. matter what. X fourth generation. Zegris? Zegris. That's a, it's a Pokemon. That's like a Mew. Oh, it's a sepsis medication. What in the world? Clastion. <laughs> Clastion? That's a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon. I'm going to bet a lot of money on that. Because I got one of my Porions. No, oh it's, my goodness. it's for bone cancer. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Crestor. That's a Pokemon. That's Wait, no, I knew that. I knew Crestor. That's a Crestor. <laughs> What's the Carnitor? We still wait. Carnitor. We have a 10 out of 40. Carnitor is like a meat suppressant. So There's drug. only a minute and 38 seconds. Oh, left. we're running out of drug. Tigacil. Drug. Umbreon. Pokemon. Oh. Jalen. Drug. Vulpix. Oh. Pokemon. Navain. Navain. Ah, drug. Fusion. Oh. 
Drug. Rescriptor. Drug. Drug. Flareon, Pokemon. Pokemon. Gidea, Ge Pokemon. Geodon. Pokemon. Geodon. Geodon. Pokemon. No, you had. Oh, you had. You had, you had one of the streak. best streaks. Oh my goodness! It was an antipsychotic. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you got kill streak. Twenty-seven out Joe of forty. Joe just killed it. What Ooh. happened? That's our stats right there. Twenty-seven out of forty. Can I do it? You got sixty-seven percent. Spencer, you know Pokemon. Get out of here. Let me try it. No. All right, Spencer. I'll. We'll. We're. We're gonna do lightning round. You're gonna tell me. Poke. I'm gonna read it out, and you tell me. Uh, there's a lightning round. This is gonna be like Bobby Fischer. Dark. Film. Lightning round. Lightning round. Three, two. Centret. Yes. <laughs> Drug or Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. he aced it. Forty he out of forty. It. Oh my goodness, Spencer. I know my Pokemon. Spencer, it's Thank almost you. as if you trained to be a pharmacist. All right, and Spencer, your prize growth. is a Star Wars digital trading card something from Whoa. Tops. Whoa! Three that's pack a, of exclusive Tops digital trading cards. I think that's a hotel key, actually. <laughs> Once again, let's hear it for Spencer. Oh my goodness, not this again. Hello, I am on tour right now. It's actually the last tour date that's not in Colorado. I've we played Austin, we played Pflugerville, Texas, we played Norman, Oklahoma, and now we're in Kansas City, Missouri, and then we're gonna be back in Denver tomorrow. I bought a machete on the first night, that was kinda weird. But it was fun. It was a good experience. We we we've gotten pretty good at changing ourselves inside of the van. Right Jake? What? And we're gonna play our last show here in Kansas City at Mini Bar. So if you stopped along the tour, I've met a few of you. Thank you for stopping by. It was a lot of fun. Got a dance. We'll probably do another one going out west at some point, but it was a lot of fun. Nine people have asked for San Diego, so maybe there. Yeah, I had one person ask for Denmark too. So <laughs> maybe there. Thank you guys for the support. If you did as well, I hope to see you soon. Hope to see you out west if we go out there next time. And I will be back in the office by the time this is up. So yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm going to give everyone here a full-on update on what's going down with the mead. Currently, we have our entire mead extravaganza happening where there's just all sorts of types of mead. Anyway, as you can see, some of these are dwindling quite significantly because we've been testing them a lot and sampling them for people and stuff like that. Um, but you know, they're still, we, we had to re-bottle that one because it was doing that super fizzy thing. But anyway, we got all our meads, they're still doing well, aging quite interestingly. Uh, got all our new ones in this box right now, and then the five gallon orange blossom, which we are actually going to be bottling for a video uh, soon and doing the, something we haven't done before, and that is the secondary fermentation. So that should be pretty interesting. We haven't tried that yet, but we want to try out some new flavors as we secondary ferment. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And then the beer we actually just put in the fridge because we are going to be testing that out. And we're not going to bottle it since it's only a gallon. We're just going to pour it all out and everyone in the office is going to get drunk off of it. And it's we've already actually tested it today with the carbonation. It's phenomenal and as it's going to be chilled, it's going to be even better. So Really excited about that. Got all our honey over here. We're gonna start some new mead batches soon, and hopefully soon enough we'll be able to bottle them up and you know maybe sell them to some people if you guys really want them. That's a mead update for you guys on today's hub. Spencer, what you watching there on the television? I got some Bionicle Mask of Light. Who, did you win that on? I don't. That wasn't that was mine. Me. Oh, you won it. Jordan yeah. went on Thrifty Gamer. I also asked who won it too. So. <laughs> yeah, Jordan didn't know. We're watching the director's commentary right now. Can you give us a, a demonstration of it real oh, quick, yeah. Hon? To work with hands and with the thought that possibly they transform into these tools, because uh, for a 75-minute film, we we just felt it would you needed to have these hands that could pick things up. You gotta have, have those hands. To show emotion, look at those hands. Touch things. Oh, a lot of hands. See, look at the, they're using the hands to grab stuff right now. They're using tools. The you need, you need I like hands how he's, to use he's, tools. He's talking about the importance of the for, symbolism of hands. For a 75-minute film, we need hands. <laughs> so I'm back from tour, and I got a new base. Your base. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new base. His, he's beautiful. Oh. He's a beautiful base. He's kind of sweaty because I played with him on tour. Yeah. That's, but he's uh, he's a beautiful little base. That's latte. 
I would call that a latte. It's a espresso, sunburst. Espresso, espresso board. Espresso? He's a La Cabranita and he has a Thundertron pickup. So did you play that oh, the entire tour or just uh, while you were The around? last two days. Last two days. I got him in Fort Worth, Texas. What, what brought on this spur of the moment purchase? I felt like I needed a new base, so yeah. I bought one. Nice. Yeah. I got him on Indale Street, so I decided to call him Dale. Oh, that's cute. And it's you my have a cute story. It's my first actual Fender. My other ones are Squires. I I have one solo in my band. Yeah. I'll play the solo acoustically on a non-acoustic <laughs> instrument. Okay. I fucked it up at the end, but it's still pretty that good. Was, sounded perfect. That to was me. amazing. <laughs> to to us non-bass player. Hashtag espresso. Okay, so it was a little too echoey in there. Um, kind of still echoey out here. Anyway, I thought I'd do the outro next to these fantastic paintings that really describe something, but I have no idea what it is because it's just a bunch of paint thrown on some canvases. Still look cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching The Hub for this week, everyone. We will be coming back next week with another Hub, of course, and that's all I have to say. It's been a fun Hub, so see you guys later. Next week. Out in the hallway again, it's super echoey.